Exercise 6. Mizuno Company uses a sales journal, a purchases journal, a cash receipts journal, a cash disbursements journal, and a general journal. The following transactions occur in the month of November, and we're asked to journalize the November transactions that should be recorded in the cash receipts journal, assuming that the periodic inventory system is used. The cash receipts journal is used to journalize any transaction that would include a debit to cash. So let's look at the individual transactions. November 3rd, the company purchased $3,900 of merchandise on credit from Avid Company. This is a non-cash transaction. It would not be included in the cash receipts journal. November 7th, the company sold merchandise costing $1,029 on credit to Ehan for $1,131, subject to a $23 sales discount if paid by the end of the month. This is a sale on account, not a cash sale, and is therefore not included in the cash receipts journal. November 9th, the company borrowed $2,525 in cash by signing a note payable to the bank. This does result in a cash receipt, so we include it in the cash receipt journal. November 9th, the account credited is notes payable. The debit to cash is $2,525. This transaction does not affect sales discounts, accounts receivable, or sales. The other account that's credited is for a total of $2,525. November 13th, Iuno, the owner, contributed $3,825 in cash to the company. This results in a cash receipt. We include it in the cash receipts journal. November 13th, the account credited is the owner's capital account. For the amount of the cash receipt, 3825 This transaction has no effect on sales discounts, accounts receivable, or sales. And we credit UNO's capital account for 3825 November 18th, the company sold merchandise costing $164 to CNAP for $292 cash. This results in a cash receipt. On November 18th, we credit sales for $292. There is no sales discount, nor does it affect accounts receivable, as this is a cash sale. We credit sales for $292, and no other accounts are affected. November 22nd, the company paid Avid Company $3,900 in cash for the merchandise purchased on November 3rd. Although this is a cash transaction, it's not a cash receipt, it's a cash disbursement. November 27th, the company received $1,108 in cash from Ehan in payment of the November 7th purchase. This does result in a cash receipt. So on November 27th, the account credited is our customer's receivable, Ehan. The debit to cash is for the amount received, $1,108. And when we return to the November 7th transaction, we see that this was a $1,131 receivable that was subject to that $23 sales discount. The $1,131 minus the $23 sales discount resulted in the cash receipt of $1,108. Sales discounts is debited for $23, and the credit to accounts receivable is the amount originally invoiced, $1,131. This transaction has no effect on sales or any other accounts. November 30th, the company paid salaries of $1,950 in cash. Again, this is a cash transaction, but not a cash receipt. It would not be included in the cash receipts journal.